what is going on guys it's ben from the parker brothers and welcome back to another fishing video today you join me down my local water it's only going to be a quick one i might stay till midday tomorrow depending on how it goes but i've been here five minutes and i've already found a fish feeding right in front of me up as well so what I've done is I literally made a quick rig or had a rig made up and if you load a bag on one over one scoop tip to scoop in a little bit of hemp um, uh, mulched up uh, OG fish boilies sort of leftovers from the factory because I've been in there, in there working my backside off the last sort of three days been very very busy so yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you on my journey if you haven't seen my I don't think it's going to be long. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Ben, guys, and what we do is we upload every Sunday, 7.30. And also, I own a bait company alongside my family called Parker Baits, and we're very passionate about it. We make bait on a weekly basis. We've got our own range of, all, our own range of freezer line boilies. And um, if you haven't seen that, guys, head over to parkerbaits.co.uk. So, without further ado, hopefully it won't be long and I can nick one. I've got Lewis coming down late, which is one of the Parker Baits ambassadors and um, he's a very good angler and someone you've probably seen on the channel before but like I said I don't think it's going to be long guys but look what I will say is before I start this video give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward and hopefully I can bring you a very quick but banging video I'll see you in a bit guys right well I think I was getting a little bit excited too early there so when I first come up I was speaking to someone I know over there he's had a couple and um, I saw a carp spot down here so I said I'm gonna go in the corner and try and next thing even there now but I think there's pipe down there but what I've also done is I've just flicked a rod there's loads of fizzing over there and you can just see my foam's popped up so I've now put a second rod on that and I've literally got some 40 mils fresh fresh is fresh OG fish 40 mils and I've literally just flicked them flicked them over the top it's beautiful over there ideally I can nick a bite in this swim and then move out because obviously as you can tell when you catch something in here it's just going to absolutely kill it and all the fish well, I would imagine will move out so um, yeah fingers crossed and I'll keep you posted happy days well it's very apparent there's pike down here one of them's quite a big pike as well but we're not here for them I'm going to keep showing it. I actually saw the pike down there a minute ago, which is literally, I got my scoop and I literally tipped in, le leant over and just tipped in. And I saw the pike come off the spot. It went down, even took some bait and went off. But there, on the other hand, there's lots of feeding bubbles. Now that, yeah, all right, could be um, silt pocket, like, like down here now, like there's bubbles coming up. I think that might be like silt pockets, but then they see over there, all that. All the, all the fry jumping, that's definitely pike, definitely, definitely pike, 100%, big vortex is coming up where they're trying to smash them, but yeah, sorry, going back to what I was saying, just over here, hopefully, I think, that, I'm pretty sure that's fish feeding, I mean, I've been in pegs over here before, and when they've been really getting their heads down, they disperse that silt, and it really, really, really fizzy, it's like a jacuzzi, and then all of a sudden, your rod's whacked off, and I've actually got live footage of that before up here, so, Come on, I'm going to give it another 10 minutes because I know Lewis is here now and we're going to go around somewhere else because obviously we can't both fish out of here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep you posted, but fingers crossed I can nick one in the next 10 minutes. Come on, a carp. Well, I wasn't expecting to catch one of them. Ugh, ugh. And that's what was fizzing up over on the end. So, time to move on. I reckon there's a few over there, hills. Oh, slimy. in the last couple of days have actually dropped in his swim and um, I have seen fish showing out there obviously I was up there earlier and I've moved around first thing I've done was set the bivvy up he was kind enough to say you know set the bivvy up I said, I've already packed mine you might as well set yours up because there is rain due in this evening I set my wrap, set, wrap sticks up behind me and what I've done is I've got two rods on the money and what I'm going to do is, is in a second I am going to top up with a bit of bait probably start off with maybe 10-15 spoms um, again I'll show you the mix in a bit but plan of action is, like I said, what I've done is right hand rod, so the tallest point of the tree, that'd be nice. Tallest point of the tree, again, which is where Aaron's been putting bait. So I'm literally fishing one off it, and one just off it, and one on it. So this one's just off it, and this one's on it. 
right hand rod is a OG fish bottom bait 14 mil with a little yellow topper and on the other one I've just got an OG fish wafter which is our dumpy dumbbells absolutely game it's a, it's a game changer so what I'm going to do is I said I touch on the mix very quickly so literally I've got a load of mulch bit of hemp in there some OG fruit and nut loads of OG fish chops the flat spots in there and obviously the, 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 the OG fish sauce now I've, this is literally leftovers from up the factory some hemp I had left over from last week's trip up linear so real basic stuff but I'm literally going to top up now with a few spoms whether I record that or not I don't know but that is where I'm at in the video so plan of action is 10 spoms on the spot large spoms as well I'm gonna go for 10 I'm literally gonna sit back and let the bait do its thing and then I can then react to whatever I need to depending on what the fish are doing so if the fish move off the spot I can act upon it move rods over if I see fish moving on the margins I can top up the margin there's so many options here because there's nobody fishing the other side there's nobody in snags and there's nobody down this end as well so really looking forward to getting my teeth into the next 24 hours or the next sort of quick overnight or leave tomorrow anyway I'll see you in a bit Kitty and the loopy, really. Um, it is now half past seven. Um, like I said, Rod's out on the money, happy with them. There's nobody now fishing the bowl, just Lewis next to me. But I've just got off the phone to uh, Ben. Uh, ben Peacock. He's actually fishing the other side of the lake, and it's one of the one of the bailiffs up here. So um, that was nice. And um, he hasn't had any fish as of yet, but he's sort of kept in the loop of what's been coming out and stuff. So. Yesterday, the fish out I want, I'm only after one in here and it's the fish's name is called Dumpy and it's um, what I do is I'll put some pictures up on the screen now of it. T's had it before, I remember T catching it when we were younger, like probably about 12 years ago, 10 years ago. Um, so that's more of a more of the factor to it, you know, it's one of them ones where I just, I, I need that fish. I've had sevens. I've had all, sort of all the other ones, I, don't, I, I just need Dumpy, I need Dumpy, so I'm, I'm looking forward to trying to do that and it does like a recapture to be honest with you it really does so it pops up and then it get, gets caught again not all the time but then it gets caught again after pretty quickly in quick concession so and also sevens as well I mean the last time I had seven which is a video last year guys if you haven't seen that um, it's a big old fish with seven scales at the back as the thumbnail on the channel if you haven't seen that I can say go over I actually caught out the margin it's the biggest fish in the lake and um, the next day the same fish come out again a pound heavier so what I'm trying to say is the fish sometimes the bigger ones in here do like that bang they get hooked get caught and then they get hooked again a week later a couple of days later so fingers crossed and also we've got a mega thunderstorm coming in tonight rain it's all, all bit it's all a bit gnarly the weather if you like so I'm really like I said it is it's, it's just it's looking right like I said only a quick overnighter but sometimes, just sometimes, these little quick overnighters you can produce the goods and I can hopefully get that one I want to tick off and then it's done here, you know, I can sort of move on. There is fizzing coming up out of my spot, I keep seeing it over there, but there is also a lot of bream in here as well. Again, anybody who watches this that's local will know exactly what I mean. You normally got to get through a few bream before you can start picking up the carp. And then sometimes I've never had any issues with bream and I've caught carp left, right and centre. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it at that. Lewis has seen a fish behind me so I'm going to go over and um, touch base with him and also the rain's coming in now because I can feel it on top of me and it's pittering all over the lake and there's a beep. <sighs> Come on the carp and I'll see you in a bit. Right so I'm going to go over to Lewis's swim now and um, get that there just down there guys again in that video I was mentioned earlier is where I had sevens. What are you showing me? 
That's before. nice common. So we've got coking coming up and out. When are we going to coking? 28th of May. 28th of May. So we've got it coming up and look at some of the nosses in here. That's so how big is that one? Biggie at £42. That got caught on the Friday of January this year. <laughs> Probably be bigger than that now. Yeah, lovely, mate. That does look a banger, doesn't it? Some good ones in there. So that's going to be coming to the channel very soon, guys. Where you got your rods then, Mish? Where are you fishing? Well, I've got one top down in next to this tree. Yeah. In the waiting mill fish. Yeah. And then I've got a nine and a half wrap straight. I see the little dip and the little bush up top in the tree. Yeah, yeah. Just nine and a half wrap straight, straight out in front. Fruit and nut wafter. Fruit and nut wafter out there. So fingers crossed tonight we can bring you some action and get some nosser pigs on the bank. <laughs> Details, whatever you want to say, or the number on the on the car. But I've hooked into that. It doesn't feel massive at the moment. It's just holding in. These rods are way overkill for this. Thing. I need to bring my 12 footers. But I'll keep you updated when I've got it in. See you in a second. Right, so very, very quickly, why that fish is recovering, it's been a couple of minutes. Literally, I'm fishing a very simple setup when that decides to focus. Let me get this focused. Luckily, first chuck, I got that out on the money. And if you're wondering why I've got my tips up like that, I'm actually fishing back leads. So my back leads go straight down by the tip of the rod and out towards my line. Hence why I've done that. And that's the only reason why I've done that. Right, time to get this fish out and show you. Whoop. Hey, look at that. First one for me. Really happy. It's a lively one. A bullet common sort of thing. Try and get her up again for you. Yeah, little sort of darker common. Really, really nice. First one for me. Like I said, didn't take long. OG fish doing it again, baby. One last time. He's a lovely little devil. But buzzing to get off the mark, and especially on that baited spot. I definitely need to top up with a few spoms now. Keep the fish over there feeding. <laughs> get in there. Oh, you won't believe it. I've been sat here with Lewis, and I've literally put that rod out within two minutes. It looks like you're in, you're in, you're in. It looks like I'm a tip. My tip's going like that. My alarm's not going off. I think, shh, fuck, I'm in. Pulls into it, and that loses it so got the rod straight back out on the money and i still haven't topped up with spoms yet so that's my main priority now get some bait on that spot keep the fish there feeding <sighs> exciting stuff come on hopefully that's that means we're in for a mega night and it'd be lovely and i've said it i've said it once already it'd be lovely if i can tick off that one i need get in right so i thought i flick the other so that's an og fruit and nut wafter with a little pink pop up on the top shaved down it sort of sits absolutely lovely sort of sits off the back of the hook on the bottom beautiful so that's what i'm going to fish on the left hand rod now i've just quickly reeled that in because i got the the rod on the sorry i got the fish on the right hand rod with a pink topper so it'd be a no-brainer to put a pink topper on the left hand one let's do it with that first time just off the left of the spot so no sorry that's on the money and this one's probably slightly off probably six seven inches off to the right of the spot i would say <sighs> happy with that really really happy with that what a great start i really can't argue with that at all i'm really happy with that fingers crossed come on the car i don't reckon it's going to be long right wow well, i'm into fish number two after losing that one earlier this one's taking on a right merry dance across the lake. So fingers crossed I can get it in and show you in a second. Absolutely buzzing. And the OG fish, the 14 mils, doing it again. Right, I'll see you in a second. <laughs>
So there it is, very simple yet very effective. A little whittled down fruit and nut wafter there with a tiny little pink topper on. Three baits, or sorry, four baits in there. OG fish, 14 mils on that rigger hook. Absolutely smashes them every time. Now, time to get this out. Fish is just resting there. It's been in there a couple of minutes. And like I said, in a second, I'll show you that bad boy. Get in. Let's get this rod out first time, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Give me a couple of minutes, mate. That's all I ask. Boom. There it is. So, like I said, probably just under 20 pound, I would imagine, something like that. But quite a nice one. And um, OG Fruit and Nut does it again. Thank you very much. Happy days. Cheers, mate. Go on, mate. Off you go. Get in. Well, that's it. Rod's back out on the money. Um, happy with that. What I'm going to do is, and the first point of call for me is always top up with bait. You know, if you've got them there on the spot, clearly they're having the bait because, you know, you've got Lewis next door, nobody else around the lake spawning. I'm the only one spawning. And um, I'm having the fish. So give them the bait, keep them in the zone, and hopefully you can keep picking them fish up as you go. Come on, the bait is out, I'm out of breath. Give it to him then. I thought, you know what, I'm going to go for it. I think there's a storm coming in. Well, there is a storm coming in. It's going to absolutely pee it down later. So I thought, get it out now so I don't get soaked earlier. Probably a little bit of laziness in there as well, to be honest with you. So yeah, about, about 15 spums out then. On the money, every single one of them. Come on the carp and come on the Parker Bates. Let's have it. Well, I just got off the phone to Corey and um, we're both looking at the same. We're like FaceTiming each other. I'm looking at it, out of it to him and he's looking out of mine. And um, the thunder and lightning hits and you can obviously see it on his screen. It was lighting up the whole lake. So what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to put some pictures up on the screen now of this lightning that he's got. I haven't managed to get any myself, but apparently he's got some cool pictures. And he's sending them over, so here they are. Some pretty crazy shots there. So... I'm literally going to sit back now with Lewis, um, no more action, no more beeps, but I'm very sort of confident going into the night now and hopefully I can make it happen and nick the one I need. Um, but I don't mind doing a night shift tonight, although I've got to go to the factory tomorrow and bag up all the stuff I made today. So I've been so, so busy, so busy. And um, on that note, I've got to thank everybody that's been making orders. It really does mean the world to me and my family, it really does. So thank you very much. So yeah. That's it for now, that's the update. I'm going to sit back and hopefully next time you see me, um, I've got a fish in the net. Um, I may check out if I get some sleep, but I'll let you know. Nevertheless, hopefully next time you see me, I've got a nosser in the net. I'll see you in a bit. Right, wow. Oh, God. So the fish has just tried to do it. Really, really weird take. Massive drop back. Reeled in, reeled in, reeled in, reeled in, reeled in. And he's right in front of me. Try doing me, but my god, is it putting up an account for itself? Not all right now. Hopefully, I can get it in. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Mate, hopefully, I can get this in. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Did you see the size of that thing? Look at the state of it, mate. I've got a pike on. <laughs> and it's an absolute loss of pike. Oh, pike in your ass. All over the show. There he is, there he is, there he is. Come on, get in that net. <laughs> get in that net. Look at the size of that thing, mate. Get in that net. Come on, come on. Look at that, mate. Not a pipe, mate. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Nice. How cool is that? You having a laugh? Look at the size of that thing, mate. Wow. 
Jeez. I'm going to weigh it now. I've already had this thing. I'm just going to weigh it straight now. Yeah. Wow. Let's do that. Oh, here we go. Here we go, boy. This is on the scale set. Oh, it's not as big as we thought. Still a big one, don't get me wrong. That's a big old boy, but I thought it was a 20. Yes, 16 pound just over. Let's get her up, show you. What a absolute nosser that is. Nosser pike, mate. <laughs> Absolutely buzzing. Yeah, if you can come over with the light there, Lou, and see if we can light her up and show you guys. Look at that. Pull the light up and down, mate. Happy days. Look at that. What an absolutely beautiful thing. And I wasn't expecting that on the OG fruit and nut waft of a little pink topper. <laughs> we normally say come on the cart, but come on the pike. Let's get this one back safely. Thank you, mate. Right, well, that's the rod back out. I'm not going to top up only because I put a lot of bait out earlier. But how weird was that? Very, very strange. Very strange. Pikey, pikey, pike. Lovely. Right, now to sit back and I'm going to try and catch it. This, this thunderstorm is absolutely nuts that's going on in the background. The rain hasn't hit yet, but I think we're in for a mega, mega night. So I'm going to try and get some footage of that and show you guys because it's just crazy here. Absolutely crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Look at it, mate. Mega. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. having a laugh mate <laughs> come on the car absolute madness there's some madness footage going on Probably the most incredible storm I think I've ever fished in and it's still going it's definitely moved off us now but wow you know look at this mate where, where, are you having a laugh <laughs> you know I didn't even have to time it with the filming look at this <laughs> never seen nothing like it mate crazy Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable. There's no other words for it. What do you, what'd you say? Just watch and take it in. <sighs> wow. Wow. Lighting up the whole sky. you guys in a bit I'm gonna watch my TV screen for this evening well, that's gone just absolutely mad this morning had a good one put anything got my rod back out rod went same rod bring it back in <laughs> landed that another common put the rod back out and as the rods hit the deck I couldn't even flick the bobbin on and it's went again so I've just had three in a row two smaller ones there look and a slightly bigger common than this one I guess it then that was myself so yeah oh mate over the moon with that I think that's six now something like that right let's get this out and um, I'll show you
Happy days. There's the first one. A little back common sort of thing, if you like. Slightly darker this one. A little patch on it as well. But happier there. Let's get this one back and show you the other two. Happy days. <laughs> there it is. Number two of the small one. Slightly bigger than the first one. But again, foul to the OG fish. 14 mil with a little pink topper. Let's get this one back and show you the big one. Get it. Oh my god, look at that, what a beautiful thing that is. Lovely colours on it. Got some patches up the back of it. Quite dark on the top and a slightly lighter belly. Uh, 20 pound, 10 ounces. Thank you very, very much, Mr. Common. <laughs> Get in there. Terrible beliefs, but bye bye, Mr. Common. Oh, yes. Not long after that, get another rod out. I've got another common in the net there. I'm literally going to quickly, while that's recovering, I'm going to quickly um, get a rod back out. I've been picking them up on white toppers. If that decides to focus, you can just about see that there, little white toppers. So it's been getting a quicker bite. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling, put a, put a bit of foam on that, get that shed back out on the money, top up with... Um, a little bit more bait. To be honest with you, I was spawning. The spawn was out when I got that run. They are fizzing up over my spot. It is going to go off, hopefully, and hopefully I can... F come on, tick that one off. Please, 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 come on. Very quickly then, guys, because he's a lively one. Again, sort of low double. Um, lovely little thing, but uh, hopefully I can sort of fight my way through a few of these and pick up that one I want. <laughs> Thank you again, Mr. Common. <laughs> Seconds after putting that fish away now, time to top up, few spoms, and I can sit back and try and get another hour's sleep because I've been up most of the night dealing with fish. <sighs> Very quickly, because I always forget, I thought I'd quickly show you my bait and approach. So, as I've gone through the night, come on, camera. So, as I've gone through the night, I've um, sort of added more and more and more boilie to my mix and I actually went through quite a bit of boilie. So there it is, literally straight up OG fish, 14 mil out the bag with a little bit of hemp. Simple as simple. There is a the flat spot in there and there is the, also the sauce as well. I've mixed the two together and then prior to this is where I had a little bit of magic dust so I flick that in along with the hemp and it works absolutely like a dream. So let's get some bait out. Hey, so there it is. I think it's fish number eight now. Another one of them commons, but the rod's back out on the money. I can't do no more. I just gotta keep wading through these. And like I keep saying, hopefully I can get that one I want. Still not much sleep, but I'm happy. <laughs> Let's get you back. Well, like I said, put that tripod back there. Bailiff's just come round this morning already, said hello, and um, time to top up with a few spoms. I need to keep them fish there, keep them feeding. I have just been royally smashed to pieces. I've just lost a 20 out of the net, a common, definitely on that rod. And as I've done that, the left hand rod, I was playing it double take. I've lost that. 
It's done me right in the snags. I've got this blooming great big bloody thing in the state of this. Right, I'm going to top up first, I think, and then, then get the rods out. Because I've probably mowed all my bait now. <laughs> Got it. Right, let's get it. Finally, after about 20 minutes later, I get both rods back out on the spot. And to be fair, they went out lovely. And as I've as the, as the leads crack down, just to the right of it, it's obviously spooks saying because there's a load of fizzing come up. So they're obviously still out there. I've just topped up, so before I put the rods out, I thought, you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to put three spums out, so I did, I put three spums out, redone the rods, because obviously that took me about 20 minutes, put them back out, and then I've literally topped up with two more spums on the money, on the spot, like I said, I, I physically can't do any more, just hopefully I can nick a few more now before I've got to go around, oh, is that a life bite? Yeah, that's a bite, I'm in. <laughs> right, well, that was a bit... Right, so definitely on I've been done because I was watching my line as I said I've got to go I've got to go that left hand rod line was pulling over my other line so hit into it nothing so a bit gutted really is what it is rods back out I had to redo both because I hit the other one thinking it might be the other one but it's not <laughs> we're getting half asleep but keeping positive um, a bit gutted because that would have been that would have been number 10 if I could have had both of them in yeah, nine and ten, so it's what it is, it's what it is. You win some, you lose some. See you soon. Oh, Lewis has just thrown me down the McDonald's. Legend. Smash this now. Starving. Get in, lovely job. Mm. Mm. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Orange juice and all, mate. Oh, that's me done. Breakfast was lovely. So Lewis, thanks very much, mate. But I'm empty now. That's all the bait gone. I have yeah, I've went through some bait, have I? But um, yeah, I'm thinking of maybe coming back. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I need to go to the factory because I need to pack some, send some orders off, and also pa um, pack all the dumbbells I made in fruit and nut yesterday. So I know I need to do that, and look, and then I can potentially come back. So I'm going to. I'm gonna play it by ear. But yeah, no more fish to update, no more bait left. But plenty, plenty of feeding activity out there without a shadow of a doubt. They're having a good old munch out there, so fingers crossed it won't be long. Oh, I just caught Lewis making his mix and he's just squirted. So he's got 10 millers in there, corn and some 14 millers. And then he's just squirted the OG fish sauce all over the top of it. And I'm guessing he's going to mix it up now and then obviously spum it out because they're loving the bait. Yeah. Yeah, 10 millers. Some 14 he's put in. You throw in some pellet as well. A little bit of mixed pellet in there and all. It's like mixed sizes. Get that up for the camera there. Different size. Is that bloodworm pellet? Oh, bloodworm, tuna, uh, squid. Squid, nice. Oh, Proper variety. Crayfish. Everything going. There is a finished product. Looks absolutely lovely. That does. That's a nice mix. I'm sure that's going to grab some knotters. <laughs> so I've just got a fish. I'm playing that. Lewis has come back. <laughs> His rod's gone off. What you got, mate? That's the old sting hammer. <laughs> Big old breams, though. Uh. <laughs> sake, mate. Well, that only means one thing. Got another one in the net. It's a slightly better common. They're slowly getting bigger, but the time's also slowly going. So I want to get that get that rod back out very quickly, and then I'll show you it. Hey. hey. Side cart for Lou. Get in, mate. Got bullied last night, didn't you? Yeah. A good one? Well, I'm gonna get this one in, guys, and we'll show you in a second. Yeah, that's a nice one, mate, isn't it? Yeah, it's coming. Which 
you reckon? 15, 16 pound? I reckon about that. Bosh, so there it is. First lakeside cart for Lou. And if I could put my, or money on anyone this year, taking out the, the, the population of the lake, it will be Lou, and I put money on that. So, um, first of many, mate, hopefully, eh? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> and what was that 100%. on? Um, what was that on? I had that on a 15mm OG fish boilie. Yeah. With a, just a little 12mm yellow pop up on the top. That, absolutely beautiful, mate. Smashed it. Get it. First of many, mate. I'm sure you're going to have them all this year. For sure. Right, so time is ticking, guys, and um, I'm going to give it another 15 minutes because I need to get back to the factory and um, quickly do some bits and then I'm going to get straight back up here and there's going to be a part two to this video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep you posted before I leave but not to worry going into next week will be part two of this video and hopefully when I get back tonight obviously as I said to you earlier I ran out of bait I need to go and get some more bait and that is the main priority at the moment so Hopefully I can nick one in the next 10. Come well, on, that is me done, and I'm about to reel the rods in. But like I said, I am gonna do a second part of this video. I'm gonna quickly go back, get some bait, come back, get fishing again. And um, this will be, like I said, next week's video, guys. But hopefully I've brought you an enjoyable uh, video. You know, a pike. Um, I've lost four in the end. I think I had nine. I think it was nine fish. Um, uh, an eel as well <laughs> and all on like I said Parker Baits the 14 mils doing it again the OG fish is an absolutely devastating bait and it's all right um, and it's not it's not just me catching oh don't do well up here there's people doing well all up and down the country which sort of moves me on to the next thing if you're not already following our social medias guys so Parker Baits at Parker Baits on Instagram or Parker.Baits I think it is on Instagram and uh, also uh, our Facebook page as well, we're on there, Parker Bates. You know, go over, give us a follow, it'd be greatly appreciated um, to support us. And if you do want to um, potentially look at our products, then you can obviously see what the latest is on there as well and where the fish are coming out, you know, like I said, up and down the country. So like I said, plan of action is now get that bait. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. And like I said, hope for that storm as well. That storm, mate, I've almost forgot. And just before I go, that storm was unbelievable, and um, hence the thumbnail on this video. <sighs> Madness, I haven't fished in stuff like that, and um, yeah, <laughs> crazy. Right, guys, so that was this week's video, and I hope to see you next Sunday for the second part. If you've liked this video, guys, give us a thumbs up, make sure you comment down below, smash this, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And I'll see you same time next Sunday, 7.30. All the best. Peace out.